Here with Cecil Brown, a defensive back for the UMC Golden Eagles football team. Just uh, first off, you know, you're from a small town in southern Georgia, Edison. Just how did you end up in Crookston, Minnesota? Uh, I think it was pretty luck. Uh, my coach just came in and said, I don't want to go to Minnesota. I couldn't believe it. So I just grabbed the opportunity and ran with it. Who was your main recruiter four years ago uh, when you were in high school? Coach Duffner. Okay. Just uh, what was it about Coach Duffner and just the UMC staff that really sold you on what UMC had to offer you as a football player and a just student athlete in general? You know, they was it was good good people and they got on the same level with me as a student and they they like was straight to the point and was to told me what what I needed to do and what they wanted from me and so I just came. How has your family just responded to you being so far away from home and have they ever how many times have they been able to make it up to uh to games here in Crookston? Well, you know, my mom took it the hardest, but she was the main one telling me to go, but at the same time she didn't want me to go. But they haven't made up here yet. They're looking to come up here for a game, for the last game. But I don't know. If, but they've been watching on the computer. So, just wasn't an easy adjustment for you. I know it's been four years now since you made the original move. But just how was the transition from you know being a southern boy from Georgia to you know not having to deal with the cold too much, and now you're in Crookston where it's a major factor, and it's just a different different dynamic than what Georgia has to offer. Just how was that transition for you? I, to be honest, it was, it was a hard tra transition, but you know, I took it upon myself as something I had to do, and it was an opportunity I couldn't let pass me by. So I just packed a couple of extra coats and uh, some thermals and like just got on the way. Just how has it helped have it? Because I know you're obviously not the only one from the south or from warm weather or from a long distance away. Just how has that helped you just having a lot of people from, you know, from a long distance away up here playing football at Crookston? That shows me I can do it. They, they um, accomplish, accomplishing the same tech, same thing I'm going through. You know, if they can do it, that, that encourages me, tells me I can do it too. You've had a great season so far. You led the team in tackles. Every game except one this year, you're uh, third in the league in tackles, ranked top 10 in the country in tackles. Just, you know, you seem to be a ball hawk. Wherever the ball is, you are. Just what is it about, you know, just what is it you're trying to do out there? I just have the will and desire to get to the ball. It, it hit whoever has the ball as hard as I can, you know, and impose my will upon them. Just is there, you know, is there a player you try to mirror professionally or just – that you've grown up watching that from your safety position? I say Ray Lewis. He he one of my uh, one of my role models. You know, this guy he's a motivator and he he's a motor on the field. He never stops. Just what is it about Ray Lewis other than what you just said that really drew you to the style of play that he offers as a defend defender? Uh, he's violent. He's reckless. He he plays with authority. He's the best. Um. I know last year was kind of a struggle in terms of just you had some injury problems, right? Just uh, just talk a little bit about that and how exciting it was to, you know, really get back on the field this year full bore and just how you've taken that to, you know, to heart and just gone out there and played this year. I said this was my senior year and I'm going to leave everything on the field and I said I was going to go all out. So uh, this was my opportunity to leave everything and just finish with Finish good, finish strong. Just what are, you know, you've got, what, I think three games left, four games left in your, you know, UMC career. Just what is your personal goal and just some team goals that you have for UMC as you wrap up your uh, four years here? Uh, my goal is just to, to uh, motivate the rest of the team to, you know, to come together as a team, to play the best we can play, you know, as a team because, you know, we can – we can definitely do some great things this year. Even though we have four games left, we still can do some great things. Some things have never been done before, and it's a perfect opportunity. So, you know, my goal is to be that motivator, be that guy that they see out on the field that like giving their giving his all, and they know they can do the same too. What's gonna be going through your head that last time you step out onto the field at Edward Seth? I mean, I know your last home game will technically be at the Alaris Center, but Edward Seth. UMD, that's your last game there. Just what's going to be going through your head as you run onto that field for the last time? Uh, just how will I be remembered? 
That's, that'll be my last question to myself. How will I be remembered on, on Ed Woodset Field? You know, where I put my best foot first. That's that's how I want to be remembered. Give him my all. Was football something you always wanted to chase growing up? You know, in Edison, or where was there some some other sport that you were going down that path for a while, or has it always been football? Uh, baseball was my first love. I was playing since I was at least seven years old, and the only years I haven't been playing is since I've been in college. Uh, I still pick up a, a glove every now and then, but football is my heart, so it's taking over a lot for me, so I really love it. Just why football over baseball? Just what happened in high school? To, were you just better at football, or was it just that became your passion in high school or later on in? I say it just that was better for me, I, I, I think, you know, because mm -hmm. I love football more and the, the contact of it, to be honest. So. Just what did you play in baseball? Baseball, I played some everywhere. Pitcher, uh, third base, shortstop, played pretty much everywhere. Just, do you have a favorite player, favorite team in baseball? Uh, not really, but I, I go for my own team, Atlanta Braves. Have you been to many any games? or? Uh, I've been to one game. Okay. Just uh, what are some of your goals off of the football field? Or do you want to continue playing football after you're done at UMC? Just, just what are your plans after you graduate? I really want to uh, continue to chase football, but if so not, um, I would like to coach, at least <laughs> be around football, because that's, that's my first love. And, I would love to like teach other people how to play the game and the uh, rules of the game and different things. Like that. Is, was there anyone in your family that was a great role model in terms of athletics, or just personally that you know you think has helped helped you get where you are today? You know, as a successful Division II football player. Right. Well, no one, well, I have a couple of cousins that are athletic um, in different sports like basketball and baseball. But uh, I truly said my mother, she's been my encouragement. She uh, told me that there's nothing too hard I can do, and she really kept me on the right path. What's your mother's name? Uh, Betty Brown. Okay. Have any of, are you the first of your family to play collegiately, or did anyone else play uh, collegiately? My cousin, she plays uh, D1 Kennesaw, Kennesaw State. So. What does she play? Uh, ba basketball. Okay. What's her name? Jordana Mowden. Okay. I guess just any any additional thoughts that you wanna wanna leave on? Uh, just keep supporting us, and we'll try to get another win. Okay, thanks, Cecil.